um, welcome. I am really excited to introduce for you a new product that was well, new to me. It's not a new product, but new to me, a product called PAGS, P-A-G-S. And here to talk to me this evening, we have Felicia. Felicia is the founder and CEO of PAGS. And joined also with us is Steve. And Steve is the head of product for PAGS. So thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you, Louise, for inviting us. No problem at all. So tell me, PAGS, what is it? PAG stands for Profile Assessment and Goal Setting. is a web-based um, uh, platform, so we live in the cloud. Um, we are improving children's chances in education and professional life after that. So we deliver a solution for schools and organizations that help professionals and educators to draw an intervention plan to identify the strengths and area of development for students of determination. Awesome. You've got the terminology for the UAE, great, great. well done. Um, so it's a software and it's online in the cloud, like you said, and it, so we would call that an IEP program. Is it as basic as that or is it more in depth than that? It's more in depth than that. And uh, this, uh, uh, Steve um, uh, will complement this, um, this answer because basically uh, we are all in one solution. That means that we start from the assessment through the target, uh, to the intervention plan, to allowing the schools to draw uh, an individualized education plan and also to track and report on the small steps progress that the, the students of determination is doing. Right. Okay. And Sophia, are you going to compliment me? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, PAGS, PAGS really is... Uh, an all-in-one solution, as Felicia said, um, our focus is really on the assessments and identifying and surfacing those needs, which which often go hidden with learners because a lot of them are masking. Um, so our approach is on first identifying what the needs are, putting practical plans in place to help learners achieve and to kind of minimise those, those needs. So what age do the assessments start at? And the second part to that question would be, what type of assessments? Are they just reading and literacy and numeracy or is it wider than that? So what age and how wide? Um, so Praxis uh, is addressing the needs of the children for, uh, from 5 to 25. From the 17 to 25, we um, uh, refer to them if they have an IQ lower than 70. Uh, PAGS is looking holistically at what the child will need to develop according to the um, uh, cognitive development theory and child development theories. So uh, we are looking at what is uh, developed by the certain age, like 5 to 7, 7 to 11 and 11 plus. Um, PAGS is uh, assessing the strengths of the child in the four uh, specific areas, which are fitting with the um, uh, SEN conduct practice in the UK 2015. So we're looking at communication and interaction. Uh, we're looking at cognition and learning, which is assessing uh, information processing, problem solving, critical skills, uh, executive functioning, decision making. And then we are looking at the social, emotional, mental health with two strands which is um, uh, self-regulation, looking at the behavior, adaptive behavior, flexibility of thought, and also for the social interaction, which is uh, developing friendships um, and uh, uh, empathy, assertiveness, difference in between assertive and aggressive, and um, developing further as an individual uh, and also ready to embrace a job later on. So PAG stems from the practice, um, from educational practices and bridges up with empirical research. So the fact that uh, stems from practice is uh, embracing all the um, uh, methodologies and uh, things that I wanted myself to have as a teacher. So I was teaching and I was looking for, I was looking for um, a tool that will help me to um, uh, set smart targets. So with a multidisciplinary team, meaning uh, educational psychologists, cognitive psychologists, and the speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, we looked to the, together what is actually missing and how it's possible to track these developmental stages that the child is doing and to be able to underpin those areas of development and to help them to reach the expected competencies to the ages that we just quoted. Okay. So on the back of this, we have done also work with the University and College of London, and we have two dissertations that were uh, written on PACS, 
which validated PAGS is a reliable assessment and can track the assessment of children with um, of determination. That's awesome. So I think um, a few years ago, it was called Development Matters in the UK, and now it's the engagement model in the UK. Has it evolved with those models? Has evolved with those models and uh, obviously is based on the uh, practitioners and methodologies that are still taught in education and in um, uh, teaching practices. When you prepare yourself to be, become a teacher, we talk about Piaget and Vygotsky, Anel Karmilov Smith, uh, and uh, Jean Boucher. So, all those theories that actually are super important for us to understand where the child goes developmentally. Wow. Once we identify those strengths and areas of development, we can actually help the child to achieve what is expected of them and obviously the grades that um, uh, are required in the schools and further on to have a career and have a job. Do you know how your software differs from other softwares? Have you got unique selling points? Why would a school engage with your product? Say they were already using a different product or they haven't got a product at all. Why would they engage with your product? <clears throat> yeah, several of the competitors out there um, kind of kind of half deliver a solution. Pugs is what the only platform which covers all of the four key areas within the same code of practice. So you're not just kind of assessing the, the child within one specific area and then having to go to another third party service to assess them in another area. You've got everything all included in, in one platform. So the key thing within Pugs as well is everything's geared around the assessment results. So every every target you set, every bit of progress that you're tracking all stems from the results of the individual learner's ability. Um, it's not based around what worked in the past with, with previous students. It's actually down to the assessment and that individual learner's needs. And that's really what makes PAGS stand out. So how long does it take to do that initial baseline assessment? So we have two different assessments. Um, one is, is which we call the guided assessment, which is SMART, which adjusts the questions based upon your answers. Um, you can get started really within eight questions. Um, yeah. Those questions are multi-choice. And as soon as we have some data from you that, that our algorithm works out and prioritizes targets, we can then suggest what are the priority areas for you to work on. Obviously, the more data you provide the system, the more accurate the result. Um, so we do have the in-depth assessment, but even that, you know, you're talking around 20 minutes. It's absolutely okay. no time whatsoever. Um, and you can get going, create targets and start, pro you know, making a difference with that learner almost instantaneously. Okay. Is that something that a teacher does, the learning support team or LSA, TA can do? Um, it is um, actually geared towards um, uh, teaching, uh, obviously teachers and uh, teaching assistants and learning support coordinators and and then Senko and obviously the parent can be involved in this process. What we find out and we uh, from the testimonials of um, uh, parents and head teachers that are working with our tool already in Dubai in charter schools is the fact that parents can contribute and can see what the child is uh, doing at school and how it's progressing. And this has a massive impact on uh, on the on the engagement and also on the results that um, uh, the the child is achieving. Being not we are not a diagnostic tool, so we are not labeling children, so which is super important. And then is uh, for the schools is just um, uh, helping them and maximizing the time of uh, uh, scrolling for resources of uh, delivering an intervention plan, uh, an IEP, and being able to justify and to review those targets when uh, the time it comes to be uh, to be assessed and reviewed. But from the parents' point of view, is the fact that they could actually be informed uh, about the um, uh, the results or about the progress or, or about the um, sometimes you know is a learning uh, is not going all the time up uh, regress of the child and if there are any issues or concern how this can be addressed as soon as possible. So from the educator point of view, because being myself a teacher is uh, allowing us to. Um, 
add more resources uh, to contribute organically to the existing strategies and uh, resources that are uh, named into PACS and uh, to be able to share this with all my schools. So reducing the amount of time that I'm building resources and then only keeping on the Google Drive and not being able to share them. And then the second part is that I'm allowing to have this information communication system with the parents and I don't understand what's happening in um, in at the home as well uh, when the parents choose to share that information. So the parents can have a login as well and they and so you, you go at it from both angles. Okay. Absolutely. Really like that. We, we we can allow the great thing about the assessments is that they encourage uh, collaboration between everyone who has a, a role in their learners lives so multiple educators senkos and the parents can all contribute to a single assessment we can generate public links and share those links so that everyone can add their own answers but not only that people can add context and comments against each answer as well and against each question just to, just to kind of share why they're providing that answer or given the answer they are and then you know we do encourage maybe the senko or a lead practitioner to actually review those answers and then take the lead on how they would they would answer the assessment but we at pags it you can get different responses um based upon the experience that each practitioner or in fact the parent has with with the learner right we know that the responses could be very different based around how the, the child is behaving at home versus in right. school. And from lesson to lesson, those can be very different as well. Absolutely. So it's important that we get everyone's perspective. Okay, so speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, they can all buy into this as well. That's it. Okay, okay. Yeah. awesome, awesome. Okay, so um, is it expensive? Uh, we work with the uh, packages like a uh, site licenses um, uh, on individual license. The, the the most important part is that we are the the platform that everybody will like to have it. This is what we heard here, uh, uh, basically from all the schools that we are working with. It's um, uh, only one time the 125 dirhams, which is uh, uh, equivalent of uh, 25 um, uh, pounds uh, annual license that is attached to the child and travels with the child. If the child moves from primary to secondary or from country to country or from school to school travels with the child, but for schools, because uh, we know the schools, uh, they have uh, budgets and constraints about this. We work with the site license, which could be unlimited licenses uh, attached to the children and that as many users as possible. And they can reach out to us and do, we do a bespoke offer to them. Uh, it being a subscription is an annual subscription. We work uh, very intensively with um, uh, our school to make sure that they have the customer support, that they have they've been supported, they've been tra trained. So we have the streamlined training on uh, our platform, and also with the customer service uh, and uh, webinars, uh, we make sure that they are supported and trained because inclusion is an universal problem, and then we help them in this uh, pathway. So we want to be the tool that everyone has uh, in the school and uh, is able to, um, to look at the results in years to come and to say how much progress the children have been making since they've been uh, to their school. And I think this um, uh, adds an immense value to the school and to, to the prestige, being able to um, be approved by KHDA. We've been in various reports already mentioned as tool. Um, that is super beneficial and um, very uh, interesting to have and very good to have uh, in the school. And also on the, um, uh, at BET, uh, British Education Technology in London, we met the, um, uh, from the Sharjah uh, special, um, <laughs> special um, no, there's no special Sharjah private schools as well. We met the, the um, professionals from there and then we start to have a conversation with them. So the fact that we are already approved by KHDA is an immense support. We really want to help children to achieve their uh, potential. And I know this sounds like a <laughs> uh, tagline, but it is really... I think you'll find any, anybody watching this has the same... <laughs> they're spending time listening to us. We have the same goals, right? Yeah, um, absolutely. So no, that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. You said that um, the license can travel with the child. So if I was to buy a site license within my school and one child then left, they could take that with them as well. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, 
ex exactly the digital platform. I think in every aspect, the technology has moved with the lightning speed. And we talk about virtual reality and metaverse. We talk about all those discovery things. And then we also should be able to digitalize all the processes that are happening in the school and have not one Google uh, sheet in yeah. here and then another part in there. So the information with the child should travel so that when they start a a new school not to start from scratch or with the parents to start saying their story again yes. it's just that information to travel with them i think that's really really important and we are also multi-languages so we have multi-languages and we are um uh we're already in four languages and we're adding two more so uh, are you should in be... Arabic yet? um steve <laughs> yeah so we've completely uh translated all of the the platform ui in arabic okay. um there's awful lot of, is, um, kind of user, UI user interface isn't it the, the what what we see as a customer right that's it so all of the labels all of the navigation options all of the buttons all okay. of that's been um correctly translated however there's so much content yeah. which has been added over the years into pags that we're still going through translating all of that we'll hopefully have that done in the next coming weeks as well so amazing, amazing. well I would like to say thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me about your product. I'm very excited by it. And um, if any of the viewers are interested in learning more, then they can contact you directly. I'm not being paid for this. I don't get commission. So anytime you want to contact either Felicia or Steve, you can do so directly. Obviously, you'll be seeing this from my web page. So if you would like to talk to me about it, you're very welcome to. There are other schools in Dubai that are using this. So if you would like to talk to other users as well, we can certainly make that happen. So thank you very much for joining me. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. And no really looking forward to seeing you again. <laughs> yes, come back and see us again. And I'm so glad you like my centre. Thank you very much. And um, we will speak to you again very shortly. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Thank you.